Okay, folks, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now today, I'm going to be doing another sting video. Now what I'm looking for is the rough harvester ant, Pogana Myrmex rugosus. Now this is one of the most toxic species of harvester ants in Texas and in the entire United States. I have been stung by this before and it left me feeling dizzy and lightheaded for about 15 minutes after the sting, um, but that was a pretty small one. So there's a few colonies up here, so we're gonna go check it out and get ourselves another sting video. All right, there's a really big nest up here, so we're gonna see if this is the species that we're looking for. All right, this is in fact Pagana Myrmex rugosus. You can see how dark these are. Um, they typically range about um, a black head, black thorax, and a more orangish abdomen to this type of color. Um, I don't know if it's a locality thing, but uh, typically they're very, 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 very dark. Um, so we're going to pick ourselves a prime ant and s get moving. So right here, rough harvester ant. Now, as the name might suggest, these, oh, these ants actively forage for seeds um, in order to kind of grind them up into a type of bread. So they're actually related, cousins to at least, um, the leaf cutter ants. So what they do is they collect plant material, they chew it up, they grind it up, and then they turn it into a type of bread that the workers and the larvae feed on. All right, so we've got our ant suspect, and here we go. Oh, come on, you're stinging the tweezers. Get off of me, fly. Okay, let's go. Oh, yep. Oh, 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 oh. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, wow, that is a... Uh... Yeah, that hurts. This is one of the worst ant stings in Texas. I'm going to do one more. Ow, shoot, man. Okay. All right, here we go again. Mamma mia. Here we go again. Ooh, ah, how could I forget ya? Look at the stinger there. Still in my arm. Come in close. Look, you see that stinger right there? Ooh, ooh, there we go. Ah! He's hurt, man. Pagana Mermex. So, toxicity-wise, Pagana Myrmex maricopa is the most venomous insect in the entire world. Um, and these guys are very, very, very close, re closely related to that species. Um, but, I mean, take a look. My arm is already starting to get red. Um, these Pagana Myrmex are pretty similar in intensity to um, Myrmesia, the bull ants, which are pretty similar to the bullet ants. Um, really, the determining factor is going to be how long this lasts. Because essentially what it feels like is um, like somebody just superheating a sewing needle over a fire and then just right into your skin. It's a very type of just vertical pain. So it's like it pierces straight down. So you can see this is where the stinger went in here. Ooh, man. Spicy, you can already see all of that discoloration there. But I really, really love these ants. Again, they are in the tribe Atini, um, to which uh, leafcutter ants also belong to. Um, what's really interesting about almost every species of Pagana Myrmex is that they don't have any soldier casts or forms. Um, with the exception of the Florida harvester ant, uh, Pagana Myrmex badius, all the workers are primarily the same size. And so what these workers will do is they will spend their days clearing all of this space and plant, placing gravel all over their nest. Um, and that's actually to attract more heat to the nest in order to raise the larva. Um, they need a lot of heat to raise these larva. And you can see this one is bringing in a, what looked like a cocoon. Uh, so this one right here is bringing in some seeds. And you can kind of see what's kind of left over. Sometimes they've got little seed shavings, um, pieces of insects, there's a little beetle leg here. Um, and they will take all of that and grind it up into 
lovely ant bread. Let's take a look at it now. It's really starting to swell up. So here's the first few stings in this area. Here's that second sting from that second worker. But as you can see, I mean, really similar to what we got with the um, bulldog ants, Mermesia, the bull ants of Australia. I'm actually gonna set one right on this little area here, and you can come in and take a look for this one, um, because I really like to put the ants on the sting area right, I hope it doesn't sting me again. Ooh, please don't sting me again. I've already had more than enough. I like to kind of get them walking around. Oh on the site of oh my gosh they're invading my boots no there's a snake in my boot okay we'll get a nice good dark one out oh it's not quite what i wanted i just want them to oh there we go well it's almost more trouble than it's worth Take a look now, look at the swelling here. Pretty dramatic. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh man, that means I've got a lot on me. I might get more stings. There's ants in my pants probably. Ants in my pants. Come here. Here. Get this check. Oh man. I'm like punching my sting. Ouch! Did he sting again? No. Oh. I'm like punching myself here. Oh. Shoot. I really hope I don't have any more on me. So, uh, Pagana Mermex queens are actually quite long lived. Um, it's not at all uncommon for them to live up to an over 10 years of age and for their colonies to consist of many thousands of workers. Um, now, these are also a staple diet in native uh, Phrynosoma genus lizards, the horned lizards, um, that are actually uh, kind of making a comeback as these ants move into their um, native ranges after being pushed out by fire ants. Um, really, really cool. We have not been able to showcase Pogana Mermex stings on video yet. All right. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, please. Subscribe. You watch the sting videos and you're like... Ooh, man, that was pretty cool. I'll, I'll leave a like. I'll, I'll watch it, but I won't subscribe. And then you might miss the next one. So you really need to make sure that you're catching all of them because I'm trying to put more out there. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated on the sting. Um, it's probably going to swell up a little bit more. It's very, very, very uncomfortable. It essentially feels about like a second degree burn. Um, very hot, very intimidating pain. But... Um, not, not unbearable. It's not going to put you on your butt. Um, really, especially if you're expecting it, you'd be like, oh, I know it's going to hurt. Boom, it hurts. Okay. Yeah, I knew that was about to happen. Um, powerful neurotoxin. Really cool species. Really cool stuff. Thanks for watching. So here we are about... Uh, 30 minutes after probably the initial few stings. Very, very red, but uh, a lot of the initial around the sting swelling has kind of dissipated. So I guess we will see how it ends up. Okay, so we are about maybe an hour and a half in. Still very red, and as you can see, these little chill bumps have started appearing and the actual skin around the sting is quite sweaty and clammy very similar to what the bullet ant did um so very interesting again the pogana mermex rugosus pretty neurotoxic species of ant and it does still hurt uh so very impressive sting from such a small ant Okay, everybody, this is about, gosh, I want to say about six hours. And as you can see, it's almost totally done. No longer very red, no longer painful. Very, very interesting, very cool. Um, we had a good time. It was an interesting little project, an interesting test. 
Um, but I think this is probably the full extent. Um, again, it's no longer painful. It went down in about six hours. And um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share if you want. Um, we should have some more Sting videos here soon for you guys. All right. Catch you later.